All right, I've rigged up another banana. We're good to go. Oh, big GT. Wonder if they eat banana. Plenty of bait. Get some potassium in ya. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Immersion Fiji YouTube channel. My name is Michael, and today I'm out with our captain, Fred. Hola. We are out with a shitload of bananas on board. Now, if you've had anything to do with boats in your lifetime, I'm pretty sure you would have heard that bananas are bad luck on boats. And if you're a fisherman, you probably had this happen to you on more than one occasion. Bloody hell, Fred, fishing's been terrible. Yeah, look at the weather. I don't really like this weather. Fish is not even biting. I think I want to get up something to eat. All right, mate. Hey, mate, you want a banana? Banana? What the hell are you... Bloody hell, Fred. You got bananas on the boat. But today, Fred and I are on a mission to put that myth to bed forever. So we're going to start by throwing a few of these top water, casting at some reefs and bommies, see if we can get a GT to come up and actually eat a banana. And I'm pretty sure if you actually catch a fish on a banana, that is the myth completely busted. All right, so we've got our bananas here. Plenty of bananas there. If bananas are bad luck, we have brought a lot of bad luck along with us. And so what I've done is I've rigged up these little hooks, set of trebles. And so we're going to get these attached onto those bananas. Uh, and get ready and then go cast a few lures. So while we're doing that, it's probably worth looking into why does that myth even exist? Why do people, so many people around the world say that bananas are bad luck? So here's what I've found. For centuries, navigating the seas wasn't just about skill. Sailors relied heavily on superstition, including the curious fear of bananas. This seemingly harmless fruit was blamed for misfortune at sea, thanks to a few colorful beliefs. Sailors setting off on a long voyage with bananas packed in with their other precious rations were doomed and didn't know it. Bananas release ethylene gas, which speeds up the ripening of other fruits and vegetables. This meant their precious stock of other vitamin-rich fruits would spoil much faster. With dwindling supplies and potential scurvy, these unsuspecting sailors might have cursed their bad luck unaware of the silent culprit nestled amongst their rations. Legend also has it that ships unknowingly transported venomous spiders or snakes in banana shipments, striking fear and rumored deaths among sailors. Lastly, an old seafarer's tale claims that bananas were often the only cargo item found after shipwrecks, leading sailors to believe the fruit itself caused the ships to sink. While the truth behind these stories may be exaggerated, they undeniably instilled a fear and superstition around bananas on board ships. So there you go. I hope that answered a few questions for you as to why bananas are supposedly bad luck on boats. Why you've been watching that, Fred and I have got our little lures rigged up and we are ready to rock. We're gonna throw some of these guys at some hopefully hungry GTs and see if we can get something to bite. So I've got a couple of mates Andreas Mendoza, Brad Parkhill. This one's dedicated to you guys. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Looks good. Bit of walk the dog action. Shit. Well, that looks pretty good to me. I think we could be on here, ladies and gentlemen. Cooters. Plenty of 
plenty of bait here. Look at the fusies here. Hope the camera's picking that up. Plenty of bait. Oh, oh, oh! Two GTs! Two GTs just swam out, they're coming to you. That's where it's gonna get smashed, swimming like that. Oh! Yeah. Did you see that? Had a swipe. Oh, big GT. Oh, big GT. Big school of batfish right at the back of the boat. <laughs> Wonder if they eat banana. I've had a hit. Yeah. yeah. I saw the flash. Fish on! Fish on! Fish on. <laughs> yep! Fish on the banana, baby! <laughs> it's not big. It's not big, but it's a GT. Classic! Classic! <laughs> Freddo! You proved your theory! <laughs> yeah! Alright. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I cast this, first cast on this spot, and I saw a big silver flash behind. I didn't feel anything, but when I brought it up, the, the banana was smashed. And then the very next cast, this guy hit the banana, and he's hooked. Not a massive GT, but... Hey, a GT nonetheless, and on a banana. So you tell me, are bananas bad luck in boats and bad luck for fishing? I think not. I think the myth has been busted. All right, let's get the hooks out of this guy, get him back. All righty. Hey. Shadow. Did you honestly think that would work? I was kind of hoping it would work today, but then it got proven. Wicked, huh? Wicked. Let's do it again. I couldn't believe that roll. I, I thought it was a joke, but then I thought he was joking, but then it, when he got that heat, I turned my head and saw that rod bend. I knew it was on. Banana go! Well, that was an awesome little experiment this morning. And I guess in conclusion, you definitely couldn't say that bananas make amazing lures or amazing bait, but they are definitely not bad luck. We've had an unreal day, the boats ran amazing, the weather conditions were amazing. We knew we were gonna get uh, a storm, well not a storm, but uh, showers roll in this afternoon. Um, but there's a full on storm brewing out where we were fishing earlier. Um, and all of that avoided us. So, you know, bananas are bad luck. Something's gonna go wrong with the boat. You're gonna get stuck in that storm and uh, you're definitely not gonna catch a fish on the lure. So it was pretty cool. We had quite a few follows, a few hits. Um, devastated I didn't get, there were two big GTs and I'm hoping the camera picked it up. I've got a, uh, I've got a polarized lens on this camera so I'm hoping that it picked it up but there were two good sized GTs chasing the banana at one point. Uh, didn't quite hit it but we did get that little GT on the banana. So like I say, you can't say they are bad luck. So if you've gotten this far in the video, I wanna say thank you for watching. If you want to give it a like, subscribe, comment, whatever, it all helps the channel. Um, if you are watching this and you are in Florida or even more specifically Miami, uh, we're going to be there uh, very shortly for the SoFlo Boat Show. We've got a little uh, exhibition there for uh, Immersion Fiji. So come down to the SoFlo Boat Show, say hi um, and check out what we've got on offer there with a boat show special to get you guys here in Fiji. Uh, chasing your dream fish. Alrighty, see you in the next one.